NBC4 is your local election headquarters just three weeks away now from Election Day, and this election season has motivated thousands of people to get to the polls. But as NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells us, the heightened messaging has some mental health experts worried. Natalie? Jared, this election season has been seemingly nonstop since June, and now that we're less than three weeks out from Election Day, voters are feeling the weight of it all. I do think we're getting so much information and we're getting so emotionally engaged that it's unhealthy. Susan Reeser has been voting for nearly 50 years and she tells me this year things feel different. Because we are having people who are working to pit against each other. Other voters agree things feel more negative now, which is why experts like executive director of the Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation, Tony Coder, tell me it's cause for concern. Negativity can breed things like, um, you know, bad mental health, anxiety, fear about what's going to happen, and that really um, can then lead into things like suicide. According to the American Psychological Association, 43% of adults say they feel more anxious than they did in 2023, and 73% of adults say they are particularly worried about the election. Coder says those are not only statistics, but a reality, as people have already started reaching out for help. Both sides are very nervous about what is going to happen if you know their candidate does not get elected. So Coder says if you're feeling the pressure, don't wait to get help. Anytime that you feel stressed, it's better to address it earlier than to wait till it gets to a real crisis point for you. He says you can look for signs in yourself or those around you, like increased irritability, lack of sleep, or being more disengaged mentally or physically. If they're talking about, I have no hope, or, you know, it's just not worth it anymore, really be concerned about those signs. He says if you are feeling worried or anxious about the election, you could use that energy to do something positive. Try to get more sleep or try to disconnect from things like social media. It's what voters like research say they're trying to do. I get up in the morning, I turn on the YouTube, I'm like, oh my God, what they do now? And I'm like, stop it, <laughs> get back to work, focus on more positive things. Coder says while it may be a difficult conversation to ask someone if they're doing OK, it will also be the most valuable talk you can have and again emphasizes reaching out for help sooner rather than later. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.